Jermaine Jeanelle Charles of Pave Road, Castries, passed away at the Victoria Hospital on Tuesday, 4 February 2014 at 11.30 p.m. She was 27 years. She was predeceased by her mother, Priscilla Charles, left to mourn her father, Barthelmy St. Rose, also known as The House of Pave Road. Sisters, Joan Charles Molloy, employed of Wings of Love. Joanne Charles, employed of ECFH. Juliana Charles, employed of Sanders Grand. Nephews, John Augustine, also known as Tilly. Jonathan Augustine, also known as Shady. Jaquan Molloy, student of the Carmen Rennie Memorial School, all of Pave Road. Niece, Ayana Greenidge, student of the Carmen Rennie Memorial School. Brothers-in-law, Malcolm Molloy, Albert Isaac, Stefan Jean. Aunts, Jennifer McLaurin and family of the USA, Irene Sidoni and family of Cedars, Dr. Joyce Lynn Fletcher and family of the Morn, Susan Lafag and family of Moshi, Wendy Lafag and family of Florida, Margaret Palmer Martin and family of England, Lena Shalry and family of Pave Road, Uncles, Moses John and family of Grand Rivier, Tony Clark and family of the USA, Russell Clark and family of the USA, Eustace Clark and family of the USA, Peter Shalry, also known as Pollock and family of Pave Road, Norbert St. Rose of Lexiland, Godmother Mary Leon, also known as Pauline of the USA, Godfather Francis Hines, also left to mourn, Corinne Shalry and family of Goodlands, Sylviana Shalry Morrell and family of Wadawaj, Hippolyte Shalry and family, Johnny Shalry and family of Pave Road, her close friends, Nicola, Shulin, Greta, Amy, Justin, Skiller, Joanny, Junior, Dakota, Shalon Evans, Lucita Ferdinand, Sana Darius, Tara Thomas, Vern, her favorite supervisor, Samantha St. Catherine, family friend, Sylvia Solomon, the management and staff of Consolidated Foods Limited, especially the Boulevard branch. The funeral service for the late Jermaine Janelle Charles will be held at the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception Castries on Thursday, 27 February 2014 at 2.45 p.m. Then the body will be laid to rest at the Shock Cemetery. The family would like to inform all well-wishers that they would like to mourn in private after the funeral service.